Alif Lam Mim The Byzantines have been defeated. Alif Lam Mim Holebati Rum. The Romans have been defeated. In the nearest land, but they, after their defeat, will overcome. In the land close by. And after this defeat of theirs, they will soon be victorious. Within three to nine years, to Allah belongs the command before and after, and that day the believers will rejoice. Three days in a few years. To Allah belongs the command before and after. And on that day, the believers will also be rejoicing. In the victory of Allah, He gives victory to whom He wills. And he is the exalted in might, the merciful. In Allah, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Yansuru man yasha, he helps whomsoever he wants. Wahu al-Azizul Rahim, and he is the mighty one, the merciful. Ba'd Allah, la yukhlifu Allah wa'dahu, walakinna akthara nasi la ya'lamu. It is the promise of Allah. Allah does not fail in His promise, but most of the people do not know. Wa'ad Allah, this is the promise of Allah. La Allah doesn't go back on His promise. But most of the people know not. Now it is clear from these six ayats that there is a historical background behind it. First of all, you should have an idea that the Arabian Peninsula is like this. And over this peninsula is Syria on the left side and Iraq on the right. These are also part of Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab and Al Jazeera. These are the three parts of the Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab and Al Jazeera, the Arabian Peninsula. Now there were two superpowers of that age. One was the Roman Empire, one was the Iranian Empire. These were the two superpowers of that time. For several hundred years, they were, you know, the superpowers. And then, you know, history had been playing a game of seesaw between the two em empires. Sometimes the Romans came to the east and they ran over most of the area that was occupied by the Iranians and defeated them. Sometimes the Iranians advanced and pushed the Romans into the Asia Minor. Roman Empire was a very big empire. It had its occupied areas in the north of Africa, west of Asia and east of Europe. But then you know, if the Iranians advanced, they pushed these Romans into Anatolia, the, the Asia Minor. And when the Christians, the, the Romans, they advanced, they pushed uh, Iranians back. Now what happened in the year, it was year 615, when Muhammad Sallallahu had been giving his dawah for five years. Revelation started to come to him in the year 610. 
in 615 AD, Romans got a very big defeat at the hands of the Iranians. All this area, Syria was gone from their hands, Jerusalem gone from their hands, you know, and for those Christians, that was a very sacred area. So a very big downfall came on the Roman Empire. Now, because the Iranians were the worshippers of the fire, the idolaters of Makkah and Arabia, they rejoiced. And they taunted to the Muslims, these people, the Christians, they are nearer to you. They are the people of the book. You accept Jesus. Now they have been defeated. And they are more nearer to us. They are worshipping fire. And we are worshipping these idols. So they are our brothers. And they have triumphed. So this was the event very, which was very important. And due to this, the Muslims were also somewhat depressed. Because the people of the book were defeated by those who were worshipping fire. On this, Hazrat Abu Bakr entered into a betting agreement with one of the Kuffar of Makkah. That if this prophecy, Quran says that within a few years, the Romans will have the victory again. In a few years. To Allah belongs the authority before also and after also. On this he bet and he entered into an agreement of betting that if this prophecy doesn't come true in three years, then I'll give you hundred camels. If it comes true, you give me hundred camels. But the Prophet said, you have committed a mistake. The word biza in Arabic, it covers the figure up till nine, less than ten. So you change your bet, increase the number of the years to nine. And you can include also the number of the camels. So he changed his bet in accordingly. Exactly in the nine years after this event, in the year 624, the tables were turned. Heraclius, the Roman emperor, he now invaded Iran from the northern area, from, you know, this, between the Caspian, from where the Gogs and Magogs used to come in the, in the ancient times. Uh, the, you know, the way was blocked by Cyrus or Zulkarnain. We have read it in Surah Al-Kahf. From Armenia and Azerbaijan, he came down and he gave a very, you know, very big defeat to the Iranians. So the prophecy came to be true. al Rum, the Romans have been defeated. Fiyad in the close by land. Now land is Syria, etc. was very close to the Arabian Peninsula. And after this defeat of theirs, they will again be victorious. In a few years, less than ten. To Allah belongs the authority before and even also after. On that day, the moment the believers will also be rejoicing. Why? The same year, Muslims got the victory of Badr. Same year, 624. On the one hand, Christians defeated the Iranians, the worshippers of fire. And the Muslims, they defeated the army of Bad, army at Badr of Kufar, which was led by Abu Jahl. So, Yawmaydi Yafrahul Mu'minun. The believers here in the Arabian Peninsula, will, they will also be rejoicing with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He helps whomsoever he likes. And he is all-powerful and all-merciful. And this is the promise of Allah. Allah doesn't go back on his promise. But most of the people know not. They don't know. من الحياة الدنيا وهم عن الآخرة هم غافلون. They know what is apparent of the worldly life, but they of the hereafter are unaware. علمونا ظاهرا من الحياة الدنيا. Even of this world, this life of this world, they only know the outside of it, outward aspect of this life. I was asked a question. Regarding the ayah of Surah Al Ankabut, Now, this life of this world is nothing 
بٹ امیوزمنٹ ان پلے برادر آسٹ بٹ اللہ سے باخرختہ باخرختہ حاضہ باطلا دس ورلڈ اینڈ دس کریشن از ناٹ پرپس لیس تو ناؤ ہیئر اٹ از بینگ سیڈ دیٹ دس از آل امیوزمنٹ سو آنسر از اف دس لائف بلاکس یور ویژن آف آخرا دین اٹ از نتھنگ اٹ از جسٹ یو نو اے دھوکا اے ڈسیٹ اینڈ نتھنگ ایس متا الغرور اے میٹیریل آف ڈسیٹ بٹ اف یو نو آخرا آلسو and use this dunya to earn akhira then this is the most important part of our life and this is given in a hadith the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam ad dunya mazratul akhira this dunya this world is the sowing field for akhira you sow here to reap there but if you don't sow here what will you reap in the akhira In that regard, it's what's important. Each and every second, I, I said while explaining Surah Al-Mu'minun, each and every second of this life is very important. Because what you are doing, that is going to be rewarded in a life which is eternal, no end. So therefore, potentially, each second of this life becomes eternal, potentially eternal, because its results are going to be spread over an eternal time. So hence, this life is very important. But if it has blocked your vision of the Akhira, and you are lost in this world then this is nothing but a drama nothing but an amusement nothing but a game yaaluna zahira min alhayat ad dunya they are seeing out of this worldly life also they are seeing only the exterior of it wa hum anil akhirati hum ghafilun regarding the akhira they are absolutely heedless because in this world also if you peep down into your hearts if you search your souls you will find something but mostly people keep themselves engaged in the external world world outside keep busy never think never you know ponder over something never search your souls never peep down into your hearts so this is actually the present society in the next sura you will find people people you know today have invented methods to keep people busy don't let them think they should be busy with the television they should be busy with the games cricket is going on oh, everybody is talking about it and you know people are just tied up to their television sets and they are losing time and everything and these things they have attracted people and they don't have any time either you are going to your work they are you busy with your work there job and job you know is the most important thing here is the biggest era in in america job is the biggest thing you must have a job otherwise you are nowhere so either you are in job or you are in amusement you are never alone to yourself to be able to think and then you go to sleep taking some sleeping pill go off not thinking if you think and if you meditate and if you peep down your hearts if you search your souls you will find wa fi anfusikum afala tubsirun There are our signs within you also but you don't see them awalam yatafakkaru fi anfusihim ma khalaqa Allah as-samawati wal ardh wa ma baynahuma illa bil haqq wa ajalin musamma وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِّنَ النَّاسِ بِلِقَاءِ رَبِّهِمْ لَكَافِرُونَ Do they not contemplate within themselves? Allah has not created the heavens and the earth and what is between them except in truth and for a specified term. And indeed, many of the people, in the matter of the meeting with their Lord, are disbelievers. اولم يتفكروا في انفسهم قل ذيس ذي سيم سبجكت هاز كم هاف دي نيفر بوندرد اوور ذير اون سيلفز ريفليكتد اوور ذيم ما خلق الله السماوات والارض وما بينهما الا بالحق الله هاز نوت كرييتد ذي هيفنز اند ذي ايرث اند وات ايفر از بيتوين ذي تو بات وذ تروث اند وذ بيربس و اجل مسمى اند ان ابوينتد تيرم ذيس كرييشن از نوت ايترنال ات ويل نوت ريمين فور ايفر as i said in the last lecture a time will come when nothing will exist 
ایکسیپٹ اللہ کل من علیہ فان و یب کا وجہ رب قد الجلال و لکرام کل شعین حالکن الا وجہ ان دی اند افتورت القصص لی حدیث آیا و ان کسیر من الناس بلقاء ربہم لکافرون but most of the people they are refusing that they are going to meet their lord اولم یسیرو فی الارض فینفرو کیف کان عاقبت الذین من قبلهم کانو اشد منہم قوتا و اثار الارض و عمروها اکثر مما عمروها و جاءتهم رسلهم بالبینات فما كان الله ليظلمهم ولكن كانوا انفسهم يظلمون Have they not traveled through the earth and observed how was the end of those before them They were greater than them in power and they plowed the earth and built it up more than they have built it up and their messengers came to them with clear evidences And Allah would not ever have wronged them, but they were wronging themselves. Have they not traveled in the land and saw for themselves what was the end of those who were before them? They were more in, in might and power than them. This nation of Aad was a very mighty nation and a very big culture. And they tilled the land and built upon it more than these have built. And to them also our messengers came with our clear signs and clear teachings. Well, Allah was not unjust to them. But actually they were doing wrong to themselves. ثم كان عاقبة الذين أساءوا السوء أن كذبوا بآيات الله وكانوا بها يستهزئون Then the end of those who did evil was the worst consequence because they denied the signs of Allah and used to ridicule them. Then the end of those who had done evil was evil. It had to be evil. That they rejected the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To add insult to injury, they were mocking at the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were laughing and mocking. الله يبدأ الخلق ثم يعيده ثم إليه ترجعون Allah begins creation then he will repeat it then to him you will be returned الله يبدأ الخلق ثم يعيده it is Allah who originates the creation and then repeats it ثم إليه ترجعون in the same way he has created you and then You will again be recreated, resurrected, and then you will be returned to him. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يُبْلِسُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And the day the hour appears, the criminals will be in despair. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يُبْلِسُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And when that hour comes, well, these guilty people shall be absolutely disappointed and despaired. They will have no hope. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُمْ مِنْ شُرَكَائِهِمْ شُفَعَاءُ وَكَانُوا بِشُرَكَائِهِمْ كَافِرِينَ And there will not be for them among their alleged partners any intercessors and they will then be disbelievers in their partners. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُمْ مِنْ شُرَكَائِهِمْ شُفَعَاءُ They will have no intercessors on, the, on their behalf from those whom they thought that they are the partners of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَكَانُوا بِشُرَكَائِهِمْ كَافِرِينَ And then they will, deny, they will be denying their shuraka there. 
يوم تقوم الساعة يوم إذ يتفرقون. And the day the hour appears, that day they will become separated. يوم تقوم الساعة يوم إذ يتفرقون. And when this hour will come, they will be divided. Divided into whom? ثم الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فهم في روضة يحبرون. And as for those who had believed and done righteous deeds, they will be in a garden of paradise, delighted. ثم الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فهم في روضة يحبرون. As for those who had come to believe and who had done good deeds, they will be happy in a garden. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَلِقَاءِ الْآخِرَةِ فَأُولَئِكَ فِي الْعَذَابِ مُحْضَرُونَ But as for those who disbelieved and denied our verses and the meeting of the hereafter, those will be brought into the punishment to remain. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَلِقَاءِ الْآخِرَةِ And as for those who rejected the faith and belied our revelations and belied that they were to meet us, فَأُولَائِكَ فِي الْعَذَابِ مُحْتَرُونَ They will be brought forth to the worst chastisement. فَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ حِينَ تُمْسُونَ وَحِينَ تُصْبِحُونَ so exalted is Allah when you reach the evening and when you reach the morning. So Allah be glorified when you enter the evening and when you enter the morning. And to Him is due all praise throughout the heavens and the earth. And exalted is he at night and when you are at noon. And for him is the praise in the heavens and the earth. And you should praise him and glorify him in the afternoon also. And when the, the sun declines to the west during the noon. يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَيُحْيِي الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَكَذَلِكَ تُخْرَجُونَ He brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living and brings to life the earth after its lifelessness and thus will you be brought out. يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ he brings forth the living from the dead. وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ And brings forth the dead from the living. وَيُحْيِي الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا And he gives life, revives the earth after its death. وَكَذَلِكَ تُخْرَجُونَ And in the same way, you will be taken out from the, from the land, from the earth. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ إِذَا and of his signs is that he created you from dust. Then suddenly you were human beings dispersing throughout the earth. Now in this section, third section of this surah, you will see repeatedly, as we had in Surah Al-Nahl, إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَةِ لِقَوْمِ يَسْمَعُونَ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَةِ لِقَوْمِ يُبْسِرُونَ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ الْآيَةِ لِقَوْمِ يَفْقَهُونَ This is but the pattern and style is different, subject is the same. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ It is from in science. خَلْقَكُمْ خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ That he created you out of mud. سُمَّ إِذَا أَنْتُمْ بَشَرُونَ تَنْتَشِرُونَ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً 
إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And of his signs is that he created for you from yourselves mates that you may find tranquility in them. And he placed between you affection and mercy. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who give thought. Min ayati, and from amongst his signs, an khalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwaja, that he created from your own selves, or we may call from your own species, wives for you. لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So that you have repose in them. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And he produced between you love and affection and mercy. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ In this are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His wisdom, His creation, His power, His authority. But for those who ponder, who reflect, who think, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ سَمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضُ And from His signs are the creation of the heavens and the earth. وَاخْتِلَافُ وَالْسِنَتُكُمْ وَالْمَانِكُمْ And the diversity and difference in your tongues and colors and whose. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِلْعَالَمِينَ And these are the signs for those people who know. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِلْعَالِمِينَ And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your languages and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those of knowledge. إِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَابْتِغَاءُكُمْ and of his signs is your sleep by night and day and your seeking of his bounty indeed in that are signs for a people who listen in ayatihi manamukum billayli wal nahar and from amongst his ayat and signs is your sleeping during the night and the day. The midday, you know, afternoon nap also included in the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But people in the West absolutely deprived from it. We in the East enjoy this blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take some time out during afternoon for the nap. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ Your sleeping during the night and the day. وَبْتِغَاوْكُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ And then you're seeking the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the day. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَسْمَعُونَ Verily, in these are the ayat, the signs for those people who listen. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ يُرِيكُمُ الْبَرْقَ خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَيُحْيِي بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَعْقِلُونَ And of his signs is that he shows you the lightning causing fear and aspiration and he sends down rain from the sky by which he brings to life the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who use reason. And from his signs is that he shows you the lightning with fear and hope. Maybe some cyclone is coming, so that is the fear. Maybe Maab Mubaraka, good rain is coming, that is the hope. But when you see lightning, you know, both these things occur to you. For you don't know the supply man, and he sends down from the heaven water. For you hear the earth by the mouth, and revives the earth, the land after it was dead. In the fiza le kala ayat le kawmi ya kilun. Verily, in this are the signs for those people who have the understanding. 
ومن آياته أن تقوم السماء والأرض بأمره ثم إذا دعاكم دعوة من الأرض إذا أنتم تخرجون And of his signs is that the heaven and earth remain by his command. Then when he calls you with a single call from the earth, immediately you will come forth. And it is from amongst his signs that the heaven and earth, they keep staying balanced. They keep staying balanced. Summa iza da'akum da'awatam min al-ard. Then he will call you, one call from the earth, إِذَا أَنْتُمْ تَخْرُجُونَ You will be coming out and you will emerge from your graves. وَلَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ كُلُّ لَهُ قَانِتُونَ And to him belongs whoever is in the heavens and earth. All are to him devoutly obedient. وَلَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ and to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Kullun lahu qanitun. All are obedient to him. وَهُوَ الَّذِي يَبْدَأُ الْخَلْقَ ثُمَّ يُعِيدُهُ وَهُوَ أَهْوَنُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَهُ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ and it is he who begins creation. Then he repeats it, and that is even easier for him. To him belongs the highest attribute in the heavens and earth, and he is the exalted in might, the wise. He is the one who creates, originates his creation, and then he will repeat. And that is easier on him. To create for the first time was difficult, but to repeat it is easy. Walahul masalul ala, and to him are the loftiest similitudes in the in the sabawat in the lands, in the and the highest attributes in the heaven and the earth. Walahul azizul rahi thakim, and he is the all powerful, all wise. Barab alakum masalam min anfusikum. هل لكم مما ملكت أيمانكم من شركاء فيما رزقناكم فأنتم فيه سواء فأنتم فيه سواء تخافونهم كخيفتكم أنفسكم كَذَلِكَ نُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمٍ يَعْقِلُونَ He presents to you an example from yourselves. Do you have among those whom your right hands possess any partners in what we have provided for you, so that you are equal therein and would fear them as you fear of one another within a partnership? Thus do we detail the verses for a people who use reason. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strikes a similitude from yourselves. Hallakum mimma malakat amanukum min shuraka fi ma radaknakum pantu fi sawa. Do you have from amongst your slaves whom your right hands possess? From them do you have shurakas, associates, equals in what we have given you? You make them your partners? So that you become equal with each other. You are the master, you have a slave. You own this, 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 this. Do you include this slave in this ownership? No. Quran takes the similitudes from this society. The society was there. The slaves were there, the masters were there. Now no master was ready to make his slave a partner with the, in his property. تَخَافُونَهُمْ كَخِيفَتِكُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ Do you care for them as much as you care for yourself? If you are sick, you run to the doctor. You give the highest fee 
But as for your slave, do you care that much? Maybe you send him to the, the community hospital, you know, <laughs> to go there. But you don't care for him as you care for you. So can Allah adopt partners from his own creation? How come? If you can't imagine it for yourself. In this way, we detail our ayat, our revelations for those people who know. بَلِ اتَّبَعَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا أَهْوَاءَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ فَمَنْ يَهْدِي مَنْ أَضَلَّ اللَّهُ وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ But those who wrong follow their own desires without knowledge. Then who can guide one whom Allah has sent astray? And for them there are no helpers. But these evildoers actually, they are following their desires and lusts. They are not following their intellect. They are not following the reasoning. They are following the desires and lusts and the wishes of the id or the libido. They are ilm and they have no knowledge. So who can bring to the right path the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent astray? And for them there are no helpers. فَأَقِمْ وَجْهَكَ لِلدِّينِ حَنِيفًا فِطْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَطَرَ النَّاسَ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْقِ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ So direct your face toward the religion, inclining to truth. Adhere to the fitra of Allah upon which he has created all people. No change should there be in the creation of Allah. That is the correct religion, but most of the people do not know. So keep your face fixed for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As absolute upright man of pure faith. Fitrat Allah illati fajaran nasa alayha. This is the true nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on which He has created human beings also. This ana, this self, this is in Allah, ana. And a small ana He has put in us also. As I told you, Allah Iqbal says, the infinite ego of Allah and the finite ego of man. They come face to face in prayer. When I'm praying, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Malik, Yawmid Deen, Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Now I'm conversing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm face to face. That's why the Prophet said, As-Salatu Miraju Al-Mu'mineen. This is like Miraj. If you have the real Salah, you are praying really, then it is equal to Miraj. فَاقِمْ وَجَاكَ لِلْدِّينِ حَنِفَا فِتْرَةً اللَّهِ اللَّتِي فَتَرَ النَّاسُ عَلَيْهَا There can be no change in the creation of Allah. ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ So this is the right religion, the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which will stay forever. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ وَاتَّقُوهُ وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Adhere to it, turning in repentance to Him, and fear Him and establish prayer, and do not be of those who associate others with Allah. Munibin ilayh, O believers, turn to Him, wattakuhu, and fear Him, waqimu salata, and establish the prayer, wala takunu minal mushnikeen, and don't in any way be with those who are associating anything or anyone with Allah in any way. من الذين فرقوا دينهم وكانوا شيعا كل حزب بما لديهم فرحون Or of those who have divided their religion and become sects 
every faction rejoicing in what it has. From among those who have divided their deen, who have split up their deen, and every group and every sect is rejoicing with what they have. You know, this deen is a whole. But then, when a messenger of Allah came, he gave you the whole deen. After him, after a few generations, now people split the deen. And this part is taken by the ulama. This part is taken by the sufia. The politics is taken by the salatin and kings. That one deen has been split into three. Then there are sects according to <coughs> different sets of beliefs and creeds. So now everyone has one part of deen and he is rejoicing that I have the best deen. So this is the condition of the sects, you know, in, in the deen of Allah. When there is a downfall, a degradation, then that deen becomes split into sects. <laughs> دعوا ربهم منيبين إليه ثم إذا أذاقهم ثم إذا أذاقهم منه رحمة إذا فريق منهم بربهم يشركون. And when adversity touches the people, they call upon their Lord turning in repentance to him. Then when he lets them taste mercy from him, at once a party of them associate others with their Lord. And when some affliction touches the mankind, they call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fully turning to him, when he makes them taste mercy from him, then some of them begin to make, to, to, as, to declare associates with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لِيَكْفُرُوا بِمَا آتَيْنَاهُمْ فَتَمَتَّعُوا فَسَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ So that they will deny what we have granted them. Then enjoy yourselves, for you are going to know. So that they should be ungrateful. But with what we have given them, فتمتعوا, what we have given them, they are spending in sin. We gave them this thing and he is spending this for a sin. We gave him this money and he is using it to purchase liquor. So our blessings, they are actually being ungrateful to us. So very soon they will come to know the reality. أنزلنا عليهم سلطانا فهو يتكلم بما كانوا به يشركون. Or have we sent down to them an authority, and it speaks of what they were associating with him? أم أنزلنا عليهم سلطانا فهو يتكلم بما كانوا به يشركون. Have we sent down to some some proof, some scripture? We says to them that these are actually associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no scripture in the world, no allegedly divine scripture coming from heaven, which, which says that this is the associators with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ إِذَا هُمْ يَقْنَطُونَ And when we let the people taste mercy, they rejoice therein. But if evil afflicts them for what their hands have put forth, immediately they despair. وَإِذَا ذَقْنَ النَّاسَ رَحْمَةً فَرِهُ بِهَا And when we make people taste our mercy, so they are, they rejoice with it. وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ And if some affliction comes to them, بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ Due to what their both hands have sent, sent forward. إِذَا هُمْ يَقْنُطُونَ 
then they become absolutely disappointed and despaired. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ Do they not see that Allah extends provision for whom He wills and restricts it? Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرُ Don't they see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala outspreads the provision for whomsoever He wills and restricts for whomsoever He wills. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يُؤْمِنُونَ In these are the signs for those who believe. فَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَى حَقَّهُ وَالْمِسْكِينَ وَابْنَ السَّبِيلِ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ لِلَّذِينَ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ So give the relative his right, as well as the needy and the traveler. That is best for those who desire the countenance of Allah, and it is they who will be the successful. فَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَى حَقَّهُ So, O oh, the one who believes, you give your relatives their right, their due. You have to pay them, you have to help them. And this is their right. Miskina and the needy, Wabna Sami and the traveller or the wayfarer. Zalika Khairulina Yuriduna Vajallah. This is better for those who seek the countenance of Allah, the face of Allah, that is, the pleasure of Allah. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And definitely, they are the ones who will... مَا آتَيْتُمْ مِنْ رِبًا لِيَرْبُوَ فِي أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ فَلَا يَرْبُوَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَمَا آتَيْتُمْ مِنْ زَكَاةٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُضْعِفُونَ And whatever you give for interest to increase within the wealth of people will not increase with Allah. But what you give in zakah, desiring the countenance of Allah, those are the multipliers. And whatever you give on usury or interest, so that your money grows with the money of the people. You have given someone thousand dollars. Now he is doing his business. His own money is there and your one thousand dollars are also mixed with them. Due to his work, his hard work, this money is growing. And your ten thousand dollars are also growing with them, with that, without any effort from you. And you are charging interest on it. This is riba. This is haram. Whatever you give to people on interest, or usually, so that it should increase in the in the wealth of the people. فَلَا يَرْبُو إِنَّ اللَّهِ It doesn't increase at all. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَمَا أَتَيْتُمْ مِنْ زَكَاتٍ And whatsoever you give for charity, تُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ And you want the countenance of Allah, the pleasure of Allah with that. أُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُزْعِفُونَ Only they will be, they should have manifold increase. So riba is absolutely opposed to zakah. What is riba? There is some surplus with you. You are earning, your needs are fulfilled, you have saved something. Now this saving is surplus with you. Now with this surplus, you can do two things. Either you invest it again into earning, or you give it for the charity. First choice should be, you give it for the charity. Yes, Anunaka Mada Yunfiqun Pulil Af. This surplus actually should be given in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either in charity to the needy people or for the deen of Allah. To propagate it and to make it established in the in the land. But if you want some investment, then that investment should be halal. It should be muzaraba or musharaka. 
No riba. What is riba? You say, okay, brother, you take this money, you do business. I never care whether you earn something or you lose something. I will get 10% from you or 12% or 20%. This is haram. And there is nothing in Islam more haram than this. Even adultery is nothing before it. Because the Prophet says, Seventy sins are there in one sin of riba. And these seventy are not equal. Some are greater, some are smaller sins. Asaroha, the least and the smallest of these sins is equal to that a man commits adultery with his own mother. This is the ratio proportion. ذلكم من شيء سبحانه وتعالى عما يشركون. Allah is the one who created you, then provided for you, then will cause you to die, and then will give you life. Are there any of your partners who does anything of that? Exalted is he. And high above what they associate with him. Allah is He who has created you, then He has provided you sustenance. Sumayumitukum, then He will put you to die. Sumayohikum, then He will revive you. Hal min shurakaikum and yafalu min zalikum min shay. Is there anyone whom you are associating with Allah who can do anything among these? Subhana. Glory is for Allah. وَتَعَلَىٰ مَا يُشْرِكُونَ And He is high and high and above from all those things with which they are associated. ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَدِّ وَالْبَحْرِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ لِيُذِيقَهُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا لِيُذِيقَهُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Corruption has appeared throughout the land and sea by reason of what the hands of people have earned, so he may let them taste part of the consequence of what they have done, that perhaps they will return to righteousness. <laughs> The land as well as the oceans, due to what the hands of people have earned. They use it so that Allah should taste them, make them taste reward of some of their sins. Maybe they their eyes are opened and they come back. Now you know this this world, all the crises, water crisis is threatening, pollution is threatening. Then the population explosion is threatening. Then there are weapons of destruction, mass destruction, biological, chemical, atomic, all these things. What is this world? A fearful thing now. There is facade. At any time, if by mistake, you know, some button is pressed, maybe. This just explodes, this whole, whole earth might explode. Because if, immediately there will be an atomic attack from this side, and immediately there will be a response from the other side. What will happen then? Zahar al fasad of al bahar. But there is another meaning of this fasad. Today, on the whole of the world, there is a revolt against Allah. Even those who believe in Allah, they are not ready to take Him and accepting Him as their ruler. We are our own rulers. Sovereignty belongs to us. We will frame the laws. 
Our representatives will sit and they will make the rules. We don't care about any divine rule and divine laws, what he has prohibited and what he has permitted. We don't care. We are the sovereigns. This is global revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rebellion. Zahar al-fasadu fil barri wal bahri bima kasab zahidin nas. Now what is humanity tasting, you know, the bad taste of these things? Al-seeru fil ardi fanzuru kayfa kana aqibatu al-lazina min qabl. Kana aktharuhum mushrikeen. Say, O Muhammad, Travel through the land and observe how was the end of those before. Most of them were associators of others with Allah. Say to them, O Muhammad, go around this land. See for themselves what was the end of those who were before them. Most of them were the idolaters, the associators with Allah of some or some other deities. فَأَقِمْ وَجْهَكَ لِلدِّينِ الْقَيِّمِ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ يَوْمُ اللَّهِ مَرَدَّ لَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ يَوْمَئِذٍ يَصَّدَّعُونَ So direct your face toward the correct religion before a day comes from Allah of which there is no repelling. That day they will be divided. So you, O Muhammad وسلم, and through you, I am, through Muhammad وسلم, I am being addressed and you are being addressed. You keep your set fixed and set for the deen of Allah and which is everlasting deen. The deen which will go on and go on till the last, till the end of this world. Before that, that that time comes of your death or of that hour of Qiyamah, which will not be able to be averted by anybody. On that day, they will, they will be, they will be divided. من كفر فعليه كفره ومن عمل صالحا فلأنفسهم يمهدون Whoever disbelieves, upon him is the consequence of his disbelief. And whoever does righteousness, they are for themselves preparing. من كفر Whosoever had disbelieved, so upon him will be the burden of disbelief. And whosoever had done good deeds, so they are providing for their own selves. That he may reward those who have believed and done righteous deeds out of his bounty. Indeed, he does not like the disbelievers. So that Allah may reward those who have the real faith and do good deeds from his bounty. إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرُونَ Verily, he doesn't like those who disbelieve. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ يُرْسِلَ الْرِّيَاحَ مُبَشِّرَاتٍ وَلِيُذِيقَكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ وَلِيُذِيقَكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ وَلِتَجْرِيَ الْفُلْكُ بِأَمْرِهِ وَلِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضُّلِهِ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And of his signs is that he sends the winds as bringers of good tidings and to let you taste his mercy. And so the ships may sail at his command. And so you may seek of his bounty and perhaps you will be grateful.
وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ يُسْرَ الرِّعَابُ بَشِّرَاتٍ And it is also from his signs that he sends the winds, bringing the glad tidings that rain is coming and coming. People were waiting, waiting, waiting for the rain. And now, you know, that breeze has come, as if a message has come, that the rain is near. وَلَيُذِيقَكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ He said, right, he should make you taste his mercy. وَلِتَدْرِي الْفُلْكُ بِأَمْرِهِ and so that there is water in the rivers, and you know the ships can move. Well, it's up to whom in Fadlihi, so that you can seek Allah's bounties. You are you by trading through the sea routes. Well, Allah kum tashkurun. But the end result of all of this should be that you should be grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ رُسُلًا إِلَى قَوْمِهِمْ فَجَاءُوهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ فَانْتَقَمْنَا مِنَ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا وَكَانَ حَقًّا عَلَيْنَا نَصْرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And we have already sent messengers before you to their peoples. And they came to them with clear evidences. Then we took retribution from those who committed crimes, and incumbent upon us was support of the believers. And before you, O Muhammad sallallahu we sent many messengers to their nations. They came to them with clear signs and clear teachings. Then we take our vengeance, we took the vengeance upon those who were guilty. And it was binding upon us that we had to help the believers. It was the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all the messages of Allah, Nu and Hu and Saleh and so on and so forth, that you will be saved in the end. When that chastisement will come, all these disbelievers will be destroyed. But you and your companion believers will be saved. Allah الذي يرسل الرياح فتثير سحابا فيبسطه في السماء فيبسطه في السماء كيف يشاء ويجعله كسفا فترى الودق يخرج من خلاله فإذا أصاب به من يشاء من عباده إذا هم يستبشرون It is Allah who sends the winds and they stir the clouds and spread them in the sky however he wills. And he makes them fragments, so you see the rain emerge from within them. And when he causes it to fall upon whom he wills of his servants, immediately they rejoice. Allah is he who sends winds, and they raise a cloud. Then Allah spreads that cloud in the in the heaven. Kaifayasha as he likes. Then it divides into fragments. And then you see rain is coming from in between them. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he takes this rain to some of the persons from his bondsmen, well they rejoice. That now our fields, you know, had water, and now our crops will, you know, come up. Although they were, before it was sent down upon them, before that in despair. Although, surely, before the coming of the rain, they were absolutely disappointed and despaired. Then 
إن ذلك لمحي الموتى وهو على كل شيء قديم. So observe the effects of the mercy of Allah, how He gives life to the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed, that same one will give life to the dead, and He is over all things competent. فانظر إلى آثار رحمة الله So see the marks of Allah's mercy. كيف يهي الأرض How He revives the land بعد موتها after its death. إن ذلك إن ذلك لبوهي الموتى Verily He who is doing this reviving the earth after death He will revive the dead also. وهو على كل شيء قدير And He is powerful to do everything. إِنْ أَرْسَلْنَا رِيحًا فَرَأَوْهُ مُصْفَرًّا لَظَلُّوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ يَكْفُرُونَ But if we should send a bad wind, and they saw their crops turned yellow, they would remain thereafter disbelievers. وَلَيْنْ أَرْسَلْنَا رِيحًا فَرَأَوْهُ مُصْفَرًّا لَظَلُّوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ يَكْفُرُونَ And if we send a cold wind over there, over there, you know, harvest, And they say, and they see that the harvest had turned from green to yellow. La dallo min baadhi yad faroon. Then they would, after that, certainly continue to disbelieve. Inna kala tusmi'u al-mauta wa la tusmi'u al-summa al-du'a iza wallaw mudbirin. So indeed, you will not make the dead hear. Nor will you make the deaf hear the call when they turn their backs, retreating. فَإِنَّكَ لَا تُسْمِعُ الْمَوْتَى So you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, cannot make the dead hear. وَلَا تُسْمِعُ سُمْمَ الدُّعَى إِذَا وَاللَّهُ مُدْبُرِينَ In the same way, you cannot make the deaf hear, especially when they turn their faces and go off. How can you convey your message to them? Either they are already dead, They are spirits in them. They are dead. They are like tombs, you know, moving, just like Taziyas. So they are the moving tombs and nothing else. They are arwah. Their spirits are dead within them. They seem to be human beings, but they are not human beings. They are now only animals. Ulaika kala naami balhuma bol. Ma anta bihadi al-umyi an ضلالتهم إن تسمع إلا من يؤمن بآياتنا فهم مسلمون. And you cannot guide the blind away from their error. You will only make hear those who believe in our verses, so they are Muslims in submission to Allah. وَمَانْتَ بِهَادِ الْعُمْيَ عَنْ ذَلَالَتِهِمْ In the same way, you cannot guide the blind person from his errors. إِن تُسْمِعُوا إِلَّا مَنْ يُؤْمِنُ بِآيَاتِنَا You can make here only those who believe in our revelations. فَهُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ And then they surrender. اللَّهُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ ضَعْفٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلَ مِنْ بعد ضعف قوة ثم جعل من بعد قوة ضعفا وشيبة يخلق ما يشاء وهو العليم القديم. Allah is the one who created you from weakness, then made after weakness strength. then made after strength, weakness, and white hair. He creates what He wills, and He is the knowing, the competent. Allah is He who created you from weakness. When a person comes in this world as a baby, he's very weak, very frail. Cannot do anything. Then after that weakness, there is The power, the strength. A man attains puberty. He is young. He is full of life. Summa jala min badi kuwatin zofan washayba. 
And then after that, the weakness and you know the gray hair, they come. You started with weakness, then there was the period of life when you were strong. Then again, when you have reached old age, hair are gray and your body is weak, frail. يَخْلُقُ مَا This is the creation of Allah. He creates whatever He likes. وَهُوَ الْعَلِيمُ الْقَدِيرُ And He is all-knowing, all-powerful. يَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ مَا لَبِثُوا غَيْرَ سَاعَةُ كَذَلِكَ كَانُوا يُؤْفَكُونَ And the day the hour appears, the criminals will swear they had remained but an hour. Thus they were deluded. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ And the day when that hour will come, that day of resurrection will come. يُقْسِمُ mujrimun. Then these people, they, they will swear. مَا لَبِسُوْغَ رَسَعَةٍ That they didn't remain in the world more than an hour. Whole life of this, maybe 80 years or 90 years or 70 years, would appear to be as if it was one hour. كَذَلِكَ كَانُوا يُفَكُونَ In this way they were being deluded. وقال الذين أوتوا العلم والإيمان لقد لبثتم في كتاب الله إلى يوم البعث فهذا يوم البعث ولكنكم كنتم لا تعلمون But those who were given knowledge and faith will say you remained the extent of Allah's decree until the day of resurrection, and this is the day of resurrection, but you did not use to know. Now those people who were given the knowledge and iman and belief and faith, they would say, you have lived in the book of Allah to the day of resurrection. This is the day of resurrection. Fahada yawmul baas. Now this is the day of resurrection when you have been resurrected from your graves. Walakin nakum kuntum la ta'alamun. But you were not knowing it. You were not accepting it. You were not believing it. Fayawma idhilla yanfa'u alladhina zalamu ma'adhiratuhum wa la hum yusta'atabun. So that day, their excuse will not benefit those who wronged, nor will they be asked to appease Allah. So on that day, the excuses will be of no use for those people who had done wrong to themselves. Walahum yustatabun, and nor will they be allowed to apologize. There is, you know, a position when you are angry with somebody, but you wish, if he apologizes, I will forgive him. But this, this anger can increase to a level. No apology. Now you don't let him apologize. There is no room for any apology. So this is what is meant in Quran by, Walahum you start abun. Neither excuses will be entertained, nor they will be given permission or leave to apologize. وَلَقَدْ ضَرَبْنَا لِلنَّاسِ فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَثَلٍ وَلَئِنْ جِئْتَهُمْ بِآيَةٍ لَيَقُولَنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنْ أَنْتُمْ إِلَّا مُبْطِلُونَ and we have certainly presented to the people in this Qur'an from every kind of example. But, O oh Muhammad, if you should bring them a sign, the disbelievers will surely say, you believers are but falsifiers. And we have struck in this Qur'an for the guidance of the people all similitudes. We have described our way in all the ways 
different styles, different words, different sequences. And when you come to them with a new ayah, These people who disbelieve, they will surely say, No, but you are forging and creating falsehood. ذلك يطبع الله على قلوب الذين لا يعلمون. Thus does Allah seal the hearts of those who do not know. كذلك يطبع الله على قلوب الذين لا يعلمون. In this way, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala puts a seal on the hearts of those who don't have knowledge. As we have in the very first section of Surah Al-Baqarah. ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة. Who's to whomsoever truth is revealed and his heart says yes this is correct this is true you must accept but he doesn't accept out of his haughtiness for example out of his thought that it might it will mean that he has succeeded I am failed he is higher than me then if I accept his is what he is saying. Now, if this is the condition, after some time, then Allah Taala puts a seal on the heart. Now, no advice can enter this heart, no admonition can enter this heart, no sermon can be beneficial for this heart. So, this is the Sunnah of Allah. فاصبر إن وعد الله حق ولا يستخفنك الذين لا يوقنون. So be patient. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth, and let them not disquiet you who are not certain in faith. فاصبر. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last instruction in the surah: Fasbir, persevere, endure with patience. Wa in nawad Allah hakun. The promise of Allah is true. What is that promise? Hakun alayna nunjil mu'minin. Kaan kaan hakun alayna nunjil mu'minin. This is the promise on us, binding on us, that we shall deliver the people who believe. We shall help them. وَلَا يَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ This is our promise. That Allah will definitely, definitely help those who help Him. And we read, you know, the last ayah of Surah Al-Ankabut. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَّهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُوا لَنَا Those who strive for our cause in our way, we are, we shall surely, definitely, without doubt, guide them to our ways. So these are the promises of Allah. فَصْبِرْ إِنَّ وَعَدَ اللَّهِ حَقُّلْ the promise of Allah is true. وَلَا يَسْتَخِفَّنَّكَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And see to it, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that those who don't believe, they will not be able to make you feel uneasy or feeble or discouraged or disheartened due to their opposition, due to their laughing at you, due to their mockery. Don't get you know, feeble or discouraged or disheartened. Persevere in calling the people towards the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the end of Surah Ar-Rum.